So you bought the killing and want to start out. Here's a quick guide with 10 tips to getting started. 1. Play the tutorial. For some of you this might seem stupid, but trust me, the culling is a very hard game to master, and you want to make your transition into the culling island as smooth as possible. In the tutorials you will learn everything, how to combat, how to craft bandages and weapons, and how all the gameplay mechanics work. Do this, and your journey to kill everyone becomes a lot easier. 2. Customize your controls. This is only for a select few, I guess, but it can make it a lot easier for you to defeat your opponents. I, for example, use E to pick up items and F to push because I find those buttons easier to use compared to Q to push and F to pick up items. 3. Learn the perks. In your loadout menu, you can select 3 perks. Perks are abilities you choose for your character to have in a match. You start with every perk available, and you should definitely look into them and understand how they affect the gameplay. Some perks give you more health, others make you run faster, and some let you spawn with items such as a man tracker or a backpack. There is a huge selection of them. A good beginner's loadout is man tracker, armor, and a perk of your choosing. In the beginning, you are bound to lose many battles, and these perks let you find people quickly so that you can understand the combat much faster, while still letting you explore the perks. 4. Explore the map. The map in the culling is not randomly generated, and you can therefore learn the layout and how to navigate it. But most importantly of all, where the good loot is. When you see a building, remember where it is, as it will be in the same place the next time you enter the island. Also, crates gas tanks, airdrop pads and explosive barrels have fixed spawns, so try to remember where they are once you see them, as they might be in the same place the next time you play. 5. Study your opponent. In the killing, everyone has 3 actions to choose from in combat, attack, block and push. With such a small number of actions, it's easy to form patterns. Study your opponent, what does he do after he blocks, does he prefer pushing, blocking or attack, does he charge attacks or not, etc. Once you can predict what your opponent will do, you're bound to win the encounter. 6. Learn Funk Economy To craft, use heal machines, buy from hollow spawners and call airdrops, you need Funk, flexible universal nano compound. Funk is the currency in this game, and it's important that you understand how to get it. Here are all the methods of gaining Funk. Firstly, you start with 12 Funk when you spawn. Simply staying alive rewards you in this game. If you're alive for 3 minutes, you get 25 Funk. 5 minutes, another 25, and 11 minutes alive rewards you with 50 funk. Killing an enemy gives you 40 funk, plus 15 extra funk for every kill he had. Looting funk barrels gives you 15 funk, but be careful, if the barrel is attacked, it will explode and damage you greatly. Lastly, all of these will give you 5 funk each. Entering a building you haven't explored yet, being 100 meters close to an enemy, the first attack on an enemy, looting previous contestants, those are the corpses and skeletons you find on the ground, Activating gas pylons, destroying explosive barrels, opening crates, and walking 500 meters. 7. Farm airdrops. Airdrops are a set of loot which you can call in while playing. These cost funk, which gives you things such as weapons, stims, and other useful items. You start out with 5 airdrops Stalker, Archer, Tough, Bait Crate, and Surprise Me. But you can unlock more. To unlock airdrops, you need to open an airdrop which you do not own. To do this, you can do several things. Firstly, you can use the Surprise Me airdrop. Surprise Me gives you a random airdrop each round. Once you spawn, press escape and see how much funk the airdrop costs. Later, when you have enough funk, call it in and open it, but keep in mind if someone steals it, you won't unlock it. And then, something I just mentioned, stealing other people's airdrops. This can be a tricky one, but if you see a flying drone, attempt chasing it and steal it from the poor guy. You can also team up with an experienced player who has many airdrops. Simply have him or her call the airdrop and let you open it. Going to in-game events like Loot Express, Grab My Package, Loot Pinata and 3 Great Monte also lets you unlock airdrops. 8. Managing Stamina It's important when you fight to know how to control your stamina. Because when you run out of it, you cannot run away and you will deal less damage. Performing actions will drain stamina or stall its regeneration. Here are the actions which will drain stamina. The first and most obvious one is running. Running will drain about 2 stamina per second. Jumping costs 6 stamina per jump. Attacking costs 3 stamina per swipe and 5 stamina per full charge. Pushing someone costs 5 stamina. Blocking stops stamina from regenerating, so be careful to not hold block all the time. Using medkits, bandages and stims will slow regeneration. And lastly, being hit by someone who is using the submission or manual perk will also drain your stamina. Although all these actions drain your stamina, you can still regenerate it. This can be done through walking or standing still, while not doing any of the draining actions I previously mentioned. 
To regenerate stamina even faster, you can use the recovery perk, which will speed it up by 30%, or if you use the stamina stim, you will get unlimited stamina for 30 seconds. A general tip is to attempt to always stay above 60 stamina when exploring, so that you're not out of stamina if you encounter someone. It's also worth noting that you run slower when under 50 stamina, so be sure to stay above that. 9. Learn every spawn position. The spawn areas in the culling are fixed, so you will always spawn in 1 out of 16 spawns. Learning where these are is good if you want to find or avoid players. Something you should also know is that for every spawn, there is a building with loot, so that you will always definitely get your loot to start off. 10. Accept loss. The killing has a very steep and painful learning curve, not to mention several bugs due to early access. These factors can make losing infuriating, I know from experience. But as the tooltip says, use the energy from your anger towards the next game. You will lose many matches before you even get close to winning, and it will feel bad. It took me about 10 hours of gameplay before I finally won, but it was worth it. Just prepare yourself, accept your loss, and don't end up rage quitting and playing the culling in real life. Uh, so yeah, this was my first time trying to make a video like this. Uh, if you have any critique, positive or negative, be sure to tell me in the comments. Also, if you have suggestions, throw them out there, I'll see what I can do. And also, if you feel like it, you can like uh, maybe subscribe and uh, like the video. That would be nice. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching the video and uh, bye, I guess. <laughs>